good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're we back, back like we, we never left. left. Yeah, we are back in the building. Shout out to the fam. Shout out to everybody that's been holding us down and supporting our channel. Yeah. Uh, as you guys can see, we're going to be checking out Trading Places tonight. Uh, actually, this is like a blast from the past. We're going to be going back a little bit. Probably we're gonna be going, going back at least like thirty something years. This is uh nineteen eighty three. Wow. Uh, with Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd. Uh, we just watched Blues Brothers that has that has uh Dan Aykroyd in it, and uh, also Dan Aykroyd he was in Ghostbusters too as well. Yeah. That's just like one or two movies that I know that we've done. Uh, the ad that Dan Aykroyd was in there as well. He's done a lot of movies then. <clears throat> like if to go back that far. Yeah, this is going like 1983. Wow. This is this movie is older than you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, major major love to everybody out there. Shout out to everybody who suggested for us to check out Trading Places. This actually is going to be the first movie that we're checking out on the channel that has Eddie Murphy in it. Oh, we yeah. haven't done Eddie Murphy yet. Nope. Not, okay. not that I not that I know of. Not. No Eddie Murphy. Nope, not uh, we have it. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, so major love to everybody who um who just wanted us to check out something with Eddie Murphy in it. Y'all were like, y'all don't even have Eddie Murphy on the channel. Not at and all. And he's one of the greatest comedians and actors. So here we are, people. Yeah. Okay, well make sure y'all tap in, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon, check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind the scenes footage. Patreon polls and access to all of our TV series and all that good stuff is all over there, y'all. Okay, so make sure y'all tap in and check it out, okay? Yeah. All you gotta do is head over there to Patreon or go over there to Patreon. <laughs> Either way. Wherever <laughs> it pops up on. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast, sir. You got a, you got a butler. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> right. What does he do? You got your own barbershop station in your bedroom. Wow. Thanks, will mate. Miss Penelope be dining with you this evening, sir? Yes, she will. You sure look nice in that suit. That's a nice little suit. Oh, all put together, all snazzy. Wow. <laughs> Really? <laughs> he said, I don't touch yours. I, I just walked through them. Obviously. Well, he touched that. Good morning, Mr. Uh, Winthorpe. Good morning, Falsey. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Good morning. Those days you just want to hurry up good and morning, get to Mr. your desk. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Today must be a Monday. Everybody's saying good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Wow, look at this office. <laughs> Pork bellies. I knew it. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Good morning, Pork Mr. Duke. Bellies. Maybe he works at Pork Bellies. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Good morning, Mr. Duke. I just cannot believe how stupid these scientists are. The eternal question. The answer is obvious. I don't care about heredity versus environment. I care about how much money we can get for our pork bellies. We thought put in a sell order for 76 and a quarter. It'll never get that high. Let's sell now. Let's see if Winthorpe's right. It's topped out. I say we sell now. Just another few seconds. <laughs> let's let's wait. No, look at that price. We just made an extra three hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars. What? Get me wins, though. Uh, in twenty oh, of seconds. I never had an instant of doubt in my mind, Mortimer. Oh yes, I'm sure a lot of people went belly up on that one. Uh, I'll see you at the club. So they like stockbrokers or something. I guess so. Morning, Mr. Duke. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Look. Vietnam 
did this to me, but I'm not bitter. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, this man? Follow metrics of change. I have no money to give you. Please, please. Come on up. Of course, he's the man on the scooter. Stay out of here. You got a lot of soul. Appreciate it. What does he own? <laughs> I do not know. Oh, Ezra. I bet you thought I'd forgotten your Christmas bonus. There you are. What is that? Five dollars. Oh, man. Maybe I'll go to the movies by myself. <laughs> Half of it is from me. Wow. The Christmas bonus. Five dollars. And they just made $340,000? In 15 seconds. The mm -hmm. audacity. Looking good, Lewis. Feeling good, Todd. I'll be having dinner with Penelope tonight. Oh, lucky you. It's not luck. Randolph, Mortimer, payroll checks for our employees. We seem to be paying some of our employees an awful lot of money. Can't get around the old minimum wage, Mortimer. $50,000 to Clarence Beeks. Who the hell is... <coughs> oh, oh. He's doing something top secret for us. Oh. Goodbye, Winthrop. Goodbye, Winthrop. Hey, baby, what's happening? What are you doing? <laughs> Once you have a man with no legs, you never go back, baby. We can make it, baby. Me and you! Uh -uh. You said a man with no legs. You'll never go back. That's what he said. <laughs> We've had some complaints about con men pretending to be blind and uh, crippled. Oh, I'd love to help you, man, but I ain't seen nothing since I stepped on that landmine in Viet Cong back in 72. You were in Nam? Um, so were we. Where? Um, I was in um, Sang Bang. <laughs> Sang Bang. Uh, uh, I was all over that place. I was with the Green Beret, uh, Special Unit Battalion. <laughs> Uh, commando <laughs> airborne tactics uh, unit. <laughs> Look at how you yeah, sound. Yeah, we feel hush hush. I was Agent Orange. That was my name, Agent Orange. Agent Orange. Agent Orange. That was me. Agent Orange. <laughs> oh, where do those come from? I can see. I can see. I have. Le I, can, I have legs, man. I can walk, Jesus. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't believe. Thank you. I just don't know what to do with. <laughs> You got some blue pumas Glory on. Glory be to God. Praise Jesus. Look at me. <laughs> oh, oh, praise Jesus. I, I can't believe it. God, Jesus. Oh, man. Look at me. Really, I appreciate it. Y'all's okay now. I'm all right. Look at this. I'll be all right. Take it easy. <laughs> Look at this. Y'all beautiful. Both of y'all. <laughs> Oh, oh, hold on, they got a mix up. Help. Oh. Help. Help. Now he ran into the house. Really? Excuse me. Watch out. He probably has a weapon. Oh, he said he probably got a weapon. Shit. Get him. He's getting away. <laughs> there he is. That's him. Get him. Get him. There he is. Oh. Is there a problem, officer? <laughs> Oh, they're gonna light him up. Is there something I can do for you? He gave it back, though. Yeah, he gave it back, and he's still going to what jail. What in heaven's name? He tried to rob the payroll, Randolph. I didn't do nothing, man. This guy bumped into me. It was an accident, man. An accident? Really? Assault, attempted robbery, and resisting arrest. I would like to press full charges. <laughs> People like this are a menace to decent society. You're from a broken home, of course. If we was broke, so what? Guy, I want a lawyer. Is there a lawyer in the house? <clears throat> They like, uh, I'm not a public defender. <laughs> you know, I get paid on a retainer fee. That man fee. is right. a product of a poor environment. There's absolutely nothing wrong with him. I can prove it. Of course there's something wrong with him. He's a Negro. Uh-oh. Probably been stealing since he could crawl. <laughs> wow. I mean, he is out there taking... Folk money. A bit stereotypical still, though. Okay. <laughs> Given the right Negro. Playing blind. And encouragement, I'll bet that that man could run our company as well as your young Winthorpe. Are we talking about a wager, Randolph? I suppose you think Winthorpe, say if he were to lose his job, would 
resort to holding up people on the streets? No, I don't think just losing his job would be enough. I think we'd have to keep a little more misfortune on those narrow shoulders. Oh, Mine. they are snakes. Say, they just conspiring. This time it's in a good cause. How much you want to bet? The usual amount. Why not? And greedy. It seems like they are very greedy. Oh, yeah. We saw that from the very, very beginning. Yeah. So brave, Louis. When, when they gave that man a five dollars tip for the year. Someone like that. groveled on the ground and begged for mercy. Looked like he was going that route to, to land on the ground and begging for mercy. Right. I want you, Louis. Now. Uh, oh. oh, man, that little hot and frisky. Coleman, I think we'll take our drinks uh, in the living room by the fire. Oh, hello, Mr. Duke, sir. A scientific experiment. Well, not at all, sir, no. I, it all sounds very uh, r original. I shall make the necessary arrangements. What a scumbag. See, they don't like their bosses at all. Yeah, no. Mom, he wants to have a party for us. So what right a scumbag. We're going to have a great life. Excuse me, sir. Will you be needing me any more this evening, sir? I think I have everything I want. Good night, sir. I mean, you could have napped, you know. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't hurt. He just busted on in. He sure did. You had to make sure his dude had his payroll before I made my move. You told me last night you cut the dudes. With these, I cut him. I am a chain belt in Kung Fu. Bruce Lee was my teacher. Watch this. What? 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 If you saw somebody in a candy jail doing that, <laughs> You think they need psychological help? <laughs> Ta -da! You was crying like yeah, a all. pussy. Yeah. That's because it's when the yeah. cops fail, he threw tear gas in my face. So get out of my face, all right? How come I don't see no marks on you? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm a karate man. <laughs> Bruised on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. But you don't know that because you're a big Barry White looking motherfucker. <laughs> get off my back, all right? Where is your bitches, Mr. Big Time Pimp? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Didn't I tell you the phone in my limousine is busted? <laughs> yeah, the phone in the limo is busted. What are you, ignorant? Okay. Hey, man. Oh. <laughs> ah, back the fuck up. You know you fucking with in cell number four on the ninth floor? Billy Ray Valentine? Yes. You made bail. <laughs> I did. His name Billy Ray. <laughs> Billy Valentine. Ray Valentine. Mr. Valentine, could you spare us a moment? Whiskey, all you want. I said snake, right? <laughs> that was the word. You know, greedy businessmen, they always want something. Say, <laughs> hey man, who are y'all? What y'all want with me? My brother and I run a program to rehabilitate culturally disadvantaged people. What about the police and the payroll? We've had the charges dropped, Mr. Valentine. We can stop right now and you can walk out on us forever. You're like, ooh, sure. This the real deal. Uh, no. No, I believe I can hang out with you fellas for a little while. Excellent. <laughs> Here we are, William. Oh, now they call him a William. When you have a name called Mortimer. Hey, Randy, Morty, this is nice. I like this. Morty Moore? Yeah. Mortimer. Uh, Billy Ray. Uh -huh. Coleman is here to take care of you. He is your servant. May I take it? Get out of here, man. Hadley wants to take a hot Back bath and to get into something comfortable. A jacuzzi, sir. It's a whirlpool bath, sir. <laughs> hey, hey, bubbles, man. When I was growing up, we want jacuzzi. We had to fart in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 Ew. Uh, that sounds like something you would do. <laughs> Bruce <laughs> said, we have to fart in the tub and make bubbles. There? What shall I do with his clothes, sir? Send him to the laundry. He'll have to have something to wear back to the ghetto. Oh. After I've won our bet. Oh. What do you think? Wow. I like it, Randy. It's very nice. I William. Think, yes. This is your home. Uh-huh. Yeah, all this is mine. I like my home. It's very nice. I have very nice taste in houses. Yeah, you know what I like most about my place? The curtains, man. Look at the curtains. It's beautiful the way I got this place set up. This is your house. These are your personal possessions. Place, it's huh? definitely too I'm good to I be true, right? Stuff, right? You know, it's always <laughs> my base, right? This is Billy Ray's base, right? I can play like Harlem Globe, try to shit with it, in, right? Hey, man, I'm sorry about that. Perfectly all right, William. It was your vase. 
Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Todd? Gents? Gentlemen, there is something rotten in the Heritage Club. There is a thief. Uh-oh. And he's sitting here among us. <laughs> I'd like to ask you gentlemen to all stand up. Somebody, somebody put something in his pocket, though. I saw that. Why does it look like the Illuminati? I'd like to ask you to place your <laughs> left hand on the shoulder of the man to your left. Like a secret society. Right. Yeah. I would now ask you to place your right hand in the coat pocket of the member to your right. Oh. And empty the contents of those pockets onto the table. Watch this. We marked three $50 bills with red X's. Less than 10 minutes ago, those bills were stolen from a coat in the cloakroom. Wow. They orchestrated that well. Yeah, they put that together piece by piece by piece. You're like, what, what? Now, wait a minute. I've never seen this money before in my life. Randolph Mortimer, this is outrageous. What are you doing? I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, Winthrop, I'm glad your parents are not alive to see this. What the, what, wait, demand a wow. Wow, 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 wow. Back back. So what, so what, they gonna charge him for theft, for theft? I guess so, but was the whole point was, was to take him out so that they didn't have Realize to- Realize you're making a grave mistake. Pay him as much? Boy, are you two going to be sorry. Take off your clothes. Now, wait a minute. You are making a career decision here. Strip you little shit before I tell you a new asshole. Okay. <laughs> did, did you hear what this man said to me? This man is physically threatening me. Uh-oh. He said a little too much. Louis III. Oh. And cellophane yeah. back. That's not mine. I've never seen that before in my life. <laughs> you know, he had to test it right then and there. That's PCP. You ever seen what this stuff does to kids? You are looking at three to five mandatory. <sighs> Lewis. If not longer. <sighs> How do you go from that to now you've been, been a criminal? He's officially a criminal now. Right? I didn't see them put that in there, though. Welcome to the criminal world. What's happening, Terry? Give me a bottle of your best champagne. You got a lot of nerves showing your face around here. I got you, money. Twenty-seven dollars interest. Billy Ray, honey, is that you? Who you think it is? Champagne for everybody. Look. Look, look. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, the one that he was locked up with. Yeah. Well, I'm sexy. Yeah. Woo. I'm very sexy. Yeah. And people will come and say, Billy Ray, you're so sexy. <laughs> And not understand my sexuality. You was in the tank last night, bragging on your limousine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That just happens to be my limousine outside. Why don't you go take a look at it? Right outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, I him. was gonna kick his ass. I should've kicked him. I was gonna kick his ass. Look, proof is in the pudding. And you ladies want to drop by my house for cocktails, plenty of room in my limousine. Limousine? Come on, everybody. Okay. You know, you, you, know the, you know the nice little pretty tempted honey, you know they gonna come. It look like he about to do a whole bunch of spending money. You know they gonna come flocking. I already see what kind of problem this is about to create. I don't see no problem. Well, I kind of do. I, I see a room full of like eight problems in there. Fine, Billy Ray. You gotta hit the dough. You ain't gotta go humble. You gotta get the out of here. 
It was a stone groove, my man. You are the most righteous. Yeah, man. right. Just get the fuck out, man. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Yeah, yeah, y'all too. Get on up out of here. Hurry up. And be quiet out there. My neighbors are asleep. They work too. <laughs> Why don't you retire, sir, and I'll straighten up? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will um retire. 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 Good night, Coleman. Thanks, man. Oh, look at him. Let's go, Winthorpe. Winthorpe. He's sick right now. Oh, he even got in a fight. He even got in a fight while he was in the county. Well. Excuse me. How'd you like to make a fast hundred? I just got out. No, no, no. This is for... Lewis, you're making a scene. Do you realize where I've been since yesterday? They beat me up and stole my clothes. Those men wanted to have sex with me. So, oh. I, 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 I oh. Mean, if, if this place is indicative of the state of correctional institutions in this country, they might as well let all the convicts out. Look at his hair. Heroin, Lewis. Her mother wants me to call off the wedding, and so does Todd. Todd, I swear to you, it was... on my honor, I am not an angel dust dealer. It's almost like now she's completely Lewis. not interested in him. Oh, oh she is. Mm, you, I'm hurting, baby. I just need a shot. Please. Lewis, who is this person? I've never seen this woman before in my life. Don't say that to me. Oh, oh. Right in front of her. Come on, baby. I'll do all those things you like. Oh! oh. You lying, disgusting creep. I never want to see you again as long as I live. Penelope. Oh, Penelope gone. Oh, she out of there. He, he looked he look dusty now, okay? <laughs> Not interested. Dusty. Broken, Great. disgusted. Thanks a lot. It was a joke. Your friend said it would get you off. You mean someone told you to do this to me? It's right over there. I'm going to give you 20 for the cab, and you're going to give me 50 when we get to your house? My butler, Coleman, will give you $50 and drive you anywhere in the city you wish to go. You have, she's obviously a problem. Oh. Yes? Oh, Coleman, please let me in. I'm, I'm having trouble with my key. Coleman, there's no Coleman here. You've made a mistake. If you don't go away, I shall be forced to call the police. Well, I'll be making a cash withdrawal in the amount five hundred dollars. I'm sorry, Mr. Winthorpe, but the uh. IRS has frozen your accounts. You're a heroin dealer, Mr. Winthorpe. It wasn't. Heroin, it was angel dust, PCP, and I never even had my hands on it. Now he took all of it out, out of his wallet. Wow, threw him out on the street. Like a homeless person. Just yesterday he was getting all peppered by a butler. Now look at you. Why is someone deliberately trying to ruin my life? Forget about the 50 bucks, okay? I'm going home. Uh, you, you've got to believe me. You can't just leave me here. Got enough problems, Louie. Come on, come on. Who is, who is she? Like, she looks familiar. Listen. Yeah, right. that's uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Right. Oh, yeah. You helped them do this to me. Was she in Halloween? Yep, Halloween, True Lies. Mike, with Michael Myers? Mm hmm Give me your hand. Never done a hard day's work in your life, have you? <laughs> ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. I'm going to regret this, but come on. Well, he better take a trip on the wild side. Uh -oh. Like, look at her eyes. Uh -oh. She look like she can take you on a trip on the wild that side. That might not be a good idea for him. Why not? That's a good idea. It, it, it just seemed like he just running into one bad thing after the next. No, no. He, he... I'm, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. This is a great, great mistake. Look. It looked just like the dude that had me busted. Hey, look. That's my car! <laughs> They saw each other. Oh, so. All right. All right. He going into the water with all the sharks. Oh, William, my boy. Sit down. We are commodities brokers, William. Commodities are agricultural products, like coffee that you had for breakfast, 
pork bellies, which is used to make bacon, which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. And then there are other commodities, like frozen orange juice. Like? And gold. Ooh, gold. Though, so, of course, no matter whether our clients make money or lose money, Duke and Duke get the commissions. Well, it sounds to me like you guys are a couple of bookies. <laughs> I told you he'd understand. That's an interesting Genius. way to put it, to call them bookies. It's the same guy who tried to rob the payroll. I never thought of it no like that. No doubt about it. Bookies. That's him. He planted the drugs on me. Look at the side of town he on. Yeah, look how he looking. Look, his world, his world has been completely turned upside down. Right. Maybe he's even taken my job. Oh, he's going to pay. Shut up, Louie. Now, you want me to help you out? I expect a lot in return. I cannot begin to tell you how much I appreciate this, uh... Ophelia. Ophelia. Ophelia! You realize that that's I know, the name I know, I know, I know. Hamlet's girlfriend. This is not Shakespeare, Louie. The only thing I got going for me in this whole big, wide world is this body and what I got up here. This place is a dump, but it's cheap, and it's all mine. I've saved 42 grand, and it's in T-bills. I figure I got three more years on my back. I'll have enough to retire on. You're a prostitute. <laughs> That's harsh. What? I'm talking about a business proposition, Louis. She's a female. I help you get yourself back on your feet, and you pay me five figures. She's a female entrepreneur. That's the deal, and it's not subject to negotiation. He said, you're a prostitute. Is, is he going to be able to pay him back, though? <laughs> I mean, pay her back? Right now, no. It's hit rock bottom. Come on, let's buy. By 200, Maybelli contracts at 66.8. It's a big mistake, man. Joe gonna get reamed on this one. Well, why shouldn't we buy now, William? Price is gonna keep going down. This isn't Monopoly money we're playing with. Hold that belly over a moment. Hmm. Uh-oh. It's Christmas time. Everybody's uptight. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. <laughs> They're panicking. Look at them. He's right. He's going oh, down. My God, look at it. I wait till you get to about 64, then I'd buy. You've cleared out all the suckers by then. How does he know all of this? Do you realize how much money he just saved us? Money isn't everything, Randolph. Well done, William. How much? How much well, of that is William well, gonna get? Though? Come on, Randolph. We're gonna be late. Screw you, Mortimer. <laughs> but how much money is William gonna get out of this? Sure, he might. He might get the five dollar Christmas bonus. <laughs> Cause he's not gonna get a dime, man. Oh, oh, but he got something. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it. I think somebody tried to set him up. No! <laughs> Mortimer dropped his money clip. He counted us all there, all of it. Thank you, William. Right. Nice try, Mortimer. Uh-huh. He's not going for it. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't believe it. He look like a fish out of water right now. Mm -hmm. There you oh. are. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, yeah. I'll handle this. Go his pe Penelope. Poke him. Oh. Harry, Pookums. Andrew, Pookums. I realize this looks completely awful, but I just wanted to assure you, my friends, that I am completely oh. innocent. <laughs> I'm going know. to fight this thing till the end. Well, Pookums. <laughs> They're not real friends. Nobody wants to buy your drugs here, Louie. Why don't you just go away? Wow, look at that. See how fast they flipped on him? Especially her. You know that hurt right there. That hurt down to the bone. Look what he got on. Oh. Uh, I beg your pardon. He look like... <laughs> Man, that he watch like a so He do. The smoker. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks? <laughs> Just give me the money. He is at rock bottom. How much for the gun? Uh oh. I don't, so, I don't know about that question. This snail right. is standing in front of the Cadillac sales. <laughs> he looks up at the salesman and he says, How much is that Cadillac? Look, look. look. <laughs> I want a big S put on each door. When I drive down the avenue, I want everybody to say, look at that S car go. Uh, uh -uh. Look at it. The S car go. Oh my gosh. See the S car go. That was a horrible joke. That was horrible. They may laugh anyway. 103. That's it. You're staying in bed. Fresh air will do me good. Lay down. <coughs> Any man that's sick, this might make him look. This might make him feel a little better. 
Make the oh, make the fever go down a little bit. I can't tell you how good that feels. You've been so kind to me. I'm just protecting my investment. That's all. Shut up and go to sleep. Protecting the investment. You know what I mean? I need you to do me like that tonight. Just, just, just rub the back of my head. I say you're protecting the investment. I'm going to go shopping and I'm going to come back and make you a nice quiet dinner. Now read your paper. I could get used to this. Aside from what she does, you know, as her daily hustle, she seems to be a genuine person. Christmas, huh? I'll give him a Christmas present he'll never forget. <laughs> Damn, Santa. <laughs> look at the jacket, though. Why does jacket look? It's dirty. It's dirty. Santa must be homeless. Cause he just gonna write down a row. He might be. Getting a little bit of everything. That's what it seemed like. Uh oh, look. Look, look, it's him. I didn't know that it was him. Look at him, he's that guy now. Like. Exactly. Full blown. Ah, William, where have you been? I was wondering about this $10,000 check to Mr. Clarence Beeks. I'll, uh, I'll take care of it, Valentine. Merry Christmas. There's that name again, though. Merry that? Christmas, Clarence Mr. Duke. Beeks. Ho, 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 ho. <coughs> how, 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 how. Look. Just what do you think you're doing? Randolph, Mortimer. Come in here quickly. I finally caught him. Who are you? Winthorpe, is that you? <laughs> look, look here in his office drawer. Marijuana joints, pills, quaalude, valium, yellow ones, red ones. He's the pusher, not me. I just came in and caught this man planting this stuff in my desk. This man's obviously a lunatic. I'm calling security. Put that phone down. Hello, security. Oh, oh. oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> And he me. hung it up. Plant drugs on me, you steal my house, my car, my job. Put that gun away at once, Winthorpe. You lost your mind. Free slime ball. You'll be sorry. You'll all be very, very sorry. sorry. Look. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I think he's starting to get a hang of this, uh, get a hang of this bad guy role. Yeah. He's like, being the bad Poor guy is not always that bad. Creature. Now he's dressing up like Santa Claus. Very sordid business. Can't believe Winthorpe would fall to pieces like that. You can't be soft on people like that. Take it from me, I know, Randolph. So you can't be soft on people like that. Look, they, they should be very worried. They got... A guy like him that has a lot of integrity, obviously. A lot of integrity. That's the reason why they didn't like him, I think. Winthorpe. Because he's not like them. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. No, he's not like them, huh? <laughs> I didn't think I, at all. Either. Not even a... On the toilet smoking a joint. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Pay up, Mortimer. I've won the bet. Here, one dollar. <laughs> we took a perfectly useless psychopath like Valentine and turned him into a successful executive. We turned an honest, hard-working man into a violently deranged would-be killer. <laughs> now, well. what are we going to do about taking Winthorpe back? Mm. I don't want Winthorpe back. You mean keep Valentine on? Do you really believe I would have a nigger oh. on our family business, Randall? Oh, no, he of did not. Uh -oh. He crossed the line. Neither would I. They shouldn't have let him in on that conversation. He like, okay, 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 okay. I'm starting to figure y'all out now. Hey, Winthrop! <laughs> he, he turned from Santa Claus to the Grinch. Hey! What in the world's wrong with him? He is losing it. Is he drinking? Poor guy. 
I guess going to rock bottom will we'll drive you to drinking. Yeah, oh. right. Look, look at that. <laughs> look at, look how dust man. I'm trying to tell you. He is like all the way messed up right now. Look. Oh. He busted and disgusted at this point. Look, look at the look, beard look. and it's all tangled up. With, With the fish. Uh. Sorry to bother you, but um, I'm looking for a Lewis Winthrop. Wait here a minute. I'll be right back. Louie, it's him. It's Valentine. Oh, no. Louie. It was close, but he's going to be all right. Mm. Coleman, I've had the most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. I lost my job. I lost my house. It was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. <laughs> <laughs> it was the dukes. It was the dukes. It was an experiment. They used us as guinea pigs, man. They made a bet. Afraid it's true, sir. Dukes ruined my life over a bet. For how much? One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. You know, you can't just go around and shoot people in the kneecaps. Do you have any better ideas? The best way you hurt rich people is by turning them into poor people. The crop estimates for next year's orange crop are being delivered to the Department of Agriculture in Washington, D.C. Louis, that's him. That's the guy who paid me to talk dirty to you. Mr. Clarence Beeks, head of Lindhurst Security. Clarence Beeks! Mmm. Oh my God. Insider trade. Beeks are going to corner the entire frozen orange juice market. Unless somebody stops them. Or beats them to it. When can we expect delivery? I will be leaving D.C. by train. We'll rendezvous at 2,400 hours. The Hilton Hotel, oh. parking level D, section Innocent four. I want to see how they're going to turn this whole thing around. Everybody's doing a brand new dance now. Can we make it with an eight? Come on, kiss this beautiful lady. <laughs> it, it, it's my turn to drive. This morning, you drove the shipment of anchovy paste. <laughs> yeah, I drove the anchovy paste, but you... Well, Please don't let King Kong out. Okay, not that. Merry New Year! <laughs> In this country, we say Happy New Year. <laughs> I am Nanja Ibuko, exchange student from Cameroon. Ha 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 Beef jerky time. <laughs> beef jerky time. You want some beef jerky? Happy New Year! And a Happy New Year to you, too. Beef Jackie? Oh, no, son, thank you very much. No, it gives me the wind. It's something big. terrible. Oh. You said the winds. <laughs> you see how big they are? Beef Jackie. Chucky, Beef Jerky. Oh, they're like ox jerky. Let me see now. You would be from uh, Austria. No, I am Inga from Sweden. Oh, what? Sweden. But you're wearing lederhosen. Yeah, for sure, from Sweden. Please do help me with my rucksack. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh. Uh-oh, jackpot. Who is it? Open the door, man. Monkey! What the fuck is going on, you clown? I certainly won't have enough spears on the train for me. Nenge Yomboko, from Cameroon. You remember me? You are lying. It's Lionel Joseph. Lionel! From the African 
education conference. Look at his neck. Did he see those switch the briefcase? I don't know. Will you be getting off at the city of brotherly love? Yeah, I will be. Oh, he did. He saw it. Winthorpe. No, no, I got it. Up, oh, let's go. You don't try anything funny or the whore loses a kidney. <laughs> All right, hold it right here. As far as we go. No more oh. cockamamie cigar smoke. Get no get more him. Swedish meatballs there, Tootsie. And no more phony Irish whiskey. Uh-oh. The party's over. What do you mean the party's over? It's not even 10 o'clock, you dummy. It's almost New Year's Eve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, look what they put on him. That other one's getting kind of horny, ain't he? Think we uh, let them have their fun. Oh. <laughs> uh, that black one must be the female. <laughs> Are you there, Beach? Uh-oh. I'm over here. It's far enough. Did, did you get the report? Thank you, Beach. Wonderful. Happy New Year. They didn't see his face. Nope. Well, I wonder what he's gonna make them do, though. He's gonna sabotage it, I'm right. sure. Wasn't it supposed to I be? life saving, sir. Uh, Try not to lose it. Home, and in a couple hours, you're gonna be the richest butler that ever lived, man. I worked real hard for this, Louie. Hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Ophelia. Were the reports, basically, I think the reports were supposed to be the information they were asking for so that they could do the whole inside trading thing. See? So that's, he probably went and gave them some fake stuff to sabotage this them. what I'm Look, they kissing and everything. We want you to buy as much OJ as you can. Just keep buying. Mmm. So they think you're finna run all smooth. Yes, sir. Yeah. They think they got this all in the bag. Nothing else, like Harry. Oh, I can't wait for this. Look. Uh oh, it's time. You have to pick that afro, get that afro right. Let's kick some ass. See, bass. Let's go. Let's kick it. Oh, yeah, they mean business for real. Pure chaos. Well, this is it. The last bastion of pure capitalism left on Earth. They trade everything. Gold, silver, heating oil, propane, cocoa and sugar, and of course, frozen concentrated orange juice. Now the Duke's trader is going to be buying like crazy. We'll be waiting until he drives the price up. Right. I can't wait to see his face when they broadcast that genuine crop report. 102 bin for 100 days old! The Dukes are trying to corner the market. They know something. I can feel it. Let's get in on it. 200, 200! Not yet. 209! Yeah, yeah, got him. 140! Now. South Dorn in April of 142! <laughs> Man. Look. That's not right. Look. How can the price be going down? Where's Wilson? Wilson, go. What are they doing here? They're selling, Mortimer. That crop report? <laughs> God help us! Look, it's going down. <laughs> it's getting lower and lower. 
Secretary of Agriculture. Uh oh, uh oh. Look, wait on the announcement. The orange crop estimates for the next year. The cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. us after everything we've done for Oh, no, you. they did not. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> after you. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got Eddie Murphy laugh. My God. Uh-oh. We're wrong. Uh -oh. He's he holding his heart. This is an outrage. I demand an investigation. A duke has been sitting on this exchange since it was founded. It belongs to us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Randolph, be gone. Your brother's not well. We better call an ambulance. Fuck him. <coughs> now you listen to me. I want trading reopened right now. Turn those machines back on. Yeah. You and your Nobel Prize, you idiot. Where in hell is Beaks? <laughs> Beaks is still in the cage with the gorilla. There's two of them in that cage. One gorilla, two gorillas. Big deal. Anyway, take a look. They're in love. <laughs> and he was never, ever heard or seen from again. Ever again. Man, they showed them. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. <laughs> when you're rich, that's the, that's the rich way when you're out your mouth. <laughs> Please know that. That's the rich way. It don't get no sweeter than that either. That. That's what they get, okay? It, it don't get no sweeter than that because the way they, the way they did Lewis, as, as dedicated as he was as an employee and as smart as he was, they did him like really, really dirty. It was a dirty with. move, yeah. And then to bet one dollar, you literally bet, you you literally traded somebody's whole, whole life, life in right. for a dollar. And it just shows you like the people at the top whether they're rich, it still shows you like the evil. Just because they have a lot of money doesn't mean that they have the the the, the purest heart, or they have you know, or, or they have purest intentions. Purest either. intentions, and, and and just really like looking out for you, like yeah. they like they're not really purely looking out for your your well being. Either. Well, I feel like they started doing it because you know he was asking questions about stuff, so they were like, yeah, let's try to figure out a way to get rid of him and and move in, you know. The other guy. Oh, yeah, Billy. Yeah. Yep, yep. They moved him in, and then he started asking questions, too. But he was asking the same questions. It was a dirty bet. They were valid questions, <clears> though. <throat> and and that's what they get. They got caught up in the end and lost everything. Exactly. Okay, that's what greed will get you. <laughs> at, at the end, because, like I said, it came back to bite them in the end. And, and I like how they put together this, this divisive plan to pretty much turn everything over on Randolph and Mortimer. Because again, like I said, they're the one that caused the issue, anyways. And then, uh, right. and, and I and I just love like the the title of the movie and and really what it meant right. as far as like trading places, like like one person that's re really on the top of of their life and career, and you have somebody that's like like I guess you would call like a bottom feeder that's homeless, that's kind of like panhandling, mm -hmm. doing whatever you got to do to hustle just to get a dollar. Yep. And have them like literally trade places, like somebody like like you saw how hard. Lewis crashed 
It's like he was literally at the very, 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 very top. Right. And literally like It was all just taken away from bottom. him, like almost like at the, at the blink of an eye. Yeah. Just, just because somebody decided that they wanted to replace him. Just like that. Yeah. And I like how they show like the, like the difference between their lives early on. Because like Lewis, like he was so like privileged. He had people like waiting hand and foot. Like you have a butler that does every single thing for you. So he was living like what you would call like 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 the the, the having the finer things in life. Right. You know, like literally. And I feel like that's like every person's dream to be at the top of their career. And, and also comes with all the perks in regards to like having the top career or at the top of your game in your career. Absolutely. Being able to have so much money where it's not even, you're not even rich anymore. It's like you're wealthy. Right. Okay, anybody out there, you know, that got a butler. I mean, shout out to you, okay? I'm not even mad. Yeah, and they, okay? and they had a great cast of actors <laughs> in this movie, too. Yeah, they a, did. A, a, a couple of surprises. Who? Because we saw Dan Aykroyd. We knew Eddie Murphy was in this. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we saw Jamie Lee Curtis. And then there was one other person that we saw, too. Um, Who? It was one other person. I just can't remember their name. It was somebody else that we... That, that... Was it the older guy? One of the older... Um, Marymore or like the brothers Duke and Duke? Was well, it one of them? No, it okay. wasn't Duke I didn't and recognize Duke. anybody else though. Yeah, it was like Jamie Blair. Lee Curtis, Eddie Murphy, and and uh, Dan Aykroyd were, were it for me. That was it? Them were the only ones I recognized. I thought I, I saw one other person I was like, who is that? Because they look familiar too, but they would, but just just a younger version. I'm not sure. Yeah, I may have to run it, rewind it back. We have, I have to go through the credits again. Oh, and yeah. More time. And I clicked off of it as soon as it started coming up there. So, okay. Yeah, okay. I just yeah, I just don't remember his name at the end of the day. Okay. But, but I enjoyed this, though. This was yes. actually really good. And it was very, very funny, too. Yeah, and again, it was. seeing Dan Aykroyd teaming up with Eddie Murphy. Like, Eddie Murphy, he just has like that classic laugh <laughs> that, that he's always had. Uh, but yeah, this is our first movie. Doing a movie with Eddie Murphy, yeah. you know what I mean, and yeah. and again at the very beginning when he walked around like he had no legs, <laughs> like like that's classic <laughs> Eddie Murphy style, you know what I mean. Trying to tell you, man, I done seen some things with with people that be out there <laughs> doing like doing stuff like that. Okay, I feel like he played like the perfect role of like a homeless man, like starting off because because he literally like resembled like a homeless man, really like somebody that didn't have no legs. <laughs> You know what I mean? Out there pulling on ladies' coats and women's <laughs> coats, walking by, and then the next minute he can't see. Okay, he don't have any legs, but all of a sudden he can stand up, he can walk, he can see. Yeah. It's a miracle. It's yeah. a miracle. And, and 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 also this movie shows you how fast things can turn on you, just regarding like being in being one of those people that like run the stock market, yeah. think that you're gonna make a whole lot of money. Like it can show you how you can have this plan to make so much money, but right. somebody can nix that. Nix that really, really quick. You can yep. you, you can win a lot of money in one day, and then the next day you can lose it, lose all. it all. Right, right. Taking a gamble. That's yeah. it. So I, I feel like I feel like this movie is like one of those life lessons. You can you know never never feel like you too you you too high on your pedestal to help somebody else that's like you know that's lower than you. Right. You Absolutely. Know? Because at the end of the day, you, one day you'll be on top, the next day you'll be on bottom. Yeah. What is it? What is it? You. What's the saying? Be nice to the people on your way to the top because you might need them yeah. on your way back down or something like that. Something, Be nice to people like on your way up Yeah, because you're going to need them on your, on your way, way down. down. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I don't know hey. what it is exactly, but I'm just Those saying. words to live and die by, <laughs> especially, especially yeah. with this movie too because just the comedy at the end of the day. Even Jamie Lee, Cur Jamie Lee Curtis, she was funny in her too. Yeah, she was. You know what I mean? She was. And they, they had a good story with her as well, like the storyline with her just because she was out on the streets doing her little thing, but she ended up coming up too. Yeah, and so. she was actually was really, really she smart was. too as well. She was, you know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just saying. So okay. Well y'all tap in, let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. If y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. Yes. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you and we're gonna mm -hmm. see y'all in the next video. Yeah. Hey, shout out to everybody in the building. Peace okay. out. Bye.